All right, everyone, welcome to the Canada Cup. So I have managed to put together six teams here. We've got Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba, Ontario, Quebec, and then we also have the Canada Geese, which is basically just the rest. So yeah, that's the six teams we have. Unfortunately, we can't do a playoff mode with six teams. And on top of that, there's a Spangler Cup that has six teams, but can't do it because you can't substitute the teams, which is super lame. But anyway... Yeah, um, let's have a quick look at the rosters here just to show you guys. So here's Alberta. I will do best lines for all of them just to be sure. There you go. Here's the offense for Alberta. It's okay. You know, it, it could be like an NHL team, honestly. It really looks like an NHL team. Defense, very solid. Morrissey and McCarr has a top pair. Kale McCarr. And then in net, we have Kadahat and Aaron Dell. Okay, next up we have British Columbia. Have a quick look at their team here. Best lines, boom. So yeah, they have a pretty solid first line. Nuge, Ben, and Connolly on the second line there. And again, this kind of just looks like it could be an NHL team. Uh, defensively, they are pretty stacked as well. They might even be a little bit more stacked. Uh, it's hard to say, but either way, both teams have really good defense regardless. And then Annette, they got Carey Price and Tristan Jari. So a very good goaltender there for them. And let yeah, sure, let's check out the rest of Canada for now. I was going to kind of skip them and come back to them last, but it doesn't really matter. So we got Marchie Crosby and Nate Mack, the Nova Scotia legends. Um, Everly, Shen, Schwartz. So yeah, they have a solid team here for sure. Murray and Dumba as a top pair. And again, uh, I'd say above average defense. And then they have Darcy Kemper and Jake Allen. Next up, we have Manitoba. With Morgan Geeky, who was just taken by the Seattle Kraken in the expansion draft. And this is definitely the weakest team, I would say, by looking at this. And I'm pretty sure overall-wise as well. Uh, defense, we've got Keith and Pulock as a top pair. And again, still pretty good defensive core. And then in net, we do have Dreger and Reimer. So two fairly solid goaltenders there. Ontario is obviously going to be completely stacked. We got Stamkos, McDavid, and Marner as the first line. I'll just do best lines again to be sure. And in net, we got Blackwood, Bennington. I forgot to show the defense, but there's the defense. And also, if we go to scratch, there is just a ton of players there as well. So, yeah, they are not lacking players, that's for sure. Quebec, another solid team here. Let's do best lines. So, we got Hirido, Bergeron, and Marcheseau on the first line. So, very good first line and a very solid overall offense. On defense, we've got Shabbat and Latang, And once again, a, well, yeah, I'd say it's just an above average defensive core with a very good top two. And then in net, we have Flower and Bernier. Let's check out the scratch players just so I can show you there. And yeah, so that's that. Uh, just in case, I'll show you the scratch players of these teams as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... The four lowest overall teams, which basically means Ontario and Quebec are the two highest, they're going to get a bye. And I'm going to put them into a playoff mode with just, I, it doesn't really matter who they play, I guess. It's going to be a random opponent. But yeah, uh, the two teams that make it to the finals, we will then stop there and come back and then go to the real playoff mode. Because unfortunately, like I said, we can't do a playoff mode with six teams. It's unfortunate, but it's just the way she goes. So yeah, we're going to do that, and then that is how we are going to decide the teams for the actual, I don't know, competing for the actual prize here. So let's go ahead and start up the first playoff mode. See, my other idea was just to give easy opponents to Ontario and Quebec so they could easily get a buy in the first round, but then I realized that it, uh, I don't know how, that, how well that will work because, um... It's going to mess with all the stats. And then when we go to look at the stats at the end of the tournament, it's going to kind of be like, well, what's up with that, you know? So I don't know who to make whose opponent here. I'm kind of just tossing it together. So custom teams, I guess we'll put BC against Manitoba. And then, as we said, Quebec gets a bye and so does Ontario. So let's go ahead and put the, the Mies in there. And there we have it. So let's go ahead Start the playoffs and see what happens. So for all these, I'm just going to sim to next game because we do have, you know, the other playoff thing to happen. So Alberta won first game there. And then BC won the first game in their series. All right, let's go ahead. Simulate. Geese tie it up. 
and simulate again. Manitoba ties it up. It is 1-1. The geese take the lead there. They are now up 2-1. Simulate. And BC back in the lead now. Sim game. Alberta ties it up. Holy crap. And then we have 2-2. Two -two. This is very, very even. Holy smokes. All right. The geese take that commanding 3-2 lead. And so does Manitoba. Will Alberta be put out? No, they will not. They will push a game seven. And so, <laughs> wow. Wow. Screw Ontario, Quebec. This is fire. I guess we got to simulate it now, you know? We can't, we can't do them dirty like that. They're putting on a show for us here. So let's go ahead and do the real-time simulation. Kale McCarr is going to put one in for Alberta. Get them in the lead here. They are out shooting the rest of Canada team pretty bad right now. Eight minutes to go in the first here. A power play for the Geese and a shorthanded goal for Alberta. Pareko going to tuck one in. Good stuff. All right. And let's go ahead and resume. It is 2-0 right now for Alberta. Heading into period number two. Another power play. A 5 on 3 And Canada just can't capitalize. What's up with that? Halfway through the game, there has been a ton of opportunities for Canada. Another 5 on 3 and they can't do it. Yo, their power play stinks. What's up with all that? All right, well, heading into period number three, Canada's actually out shooting Alberta, and Tyler Ennis is going to put Alberta up 3 nothing. That might just be the nail in the coffin, but Jordan Eberle is not going to let it happen just that easy. Oh, boy, Kaloran scores. Makes it a one-goal game now. Ten minutes to go here in this game. What a contest. All right, this is intense. This is really intense. You know what? Let's actually... For the last, like, minute, let's jump in to see what happens. Let's go. So there's the team stats, if you were curious. Yeah. Um, it looks like Canada has the better team, but, I mean, Alberta has the better defense, so take of that what you will. All right, here we go. Alberta versus Canada. It is currently a one-goal lead for Alberta with a minute left to go here in the third period. Marchand goes and takes a shot, but Carter Hart's going to make a wild save there. And we still have that one goal lead. That is nuts. I'm pretty sure, too, when you're watching the CPUs, you can't actually skip a lot of the cutscenes, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. All right. Big draw win there for Alberta. McCarr carrying it up. I suppose that Canada might pull their goalie pretty soon, actually. Hall goes to pass in the middle. Not going to get through, though. Crosby has some time here. Makes a pass cross ice. McKinnon. And they just can't really get anything going. Alberta seems to be shutting them down right now. Now Nylander in the slot takes a shot. But that'll be saved by Darcy Kemper. Kale McCarr passes over to Morrissey to Hall. Oh boy. Nice passing, man. Holy. I think... I don't want to jinx it, but I think Alberta's got this in the bag. They are completely dominating Canada right now. I, they're completely dominating the geese right now. Let's say that. But the geese are... You know, Canadian geese are scary. So they could... They could attack at any minute, you know? Who knows? They still got 26 seconds. That's tons of time. And once again, my controller speaker is... Oh, what a save again by Carter Hart. But controller speaker is making all the audibles for some reason. So hopefully my microphone isn't picking that up. Or if it is, hopefully it's very subtle. And yeah, Alberta's got this. That's going to be an empty netter. And they are moving on and will be facing... Well, who knows, I guess. It could be Quebec, could be Ontario. But they will be moving on to the for real play down. All right? Yeah, there we have it. That is sick. Okay, so I'm sorry, rest of Canada. You put up a good fight, but it just wasn't meant to be. McCarr with eight points in seven games. All right, but now we have this side of the bracket, BC and Manitoba. Let's go and do the same thing here because they also have a game seven. Manitoba gets an advantage there. Now BC gets an advantage. Neither team's capitalized though, but Cody Glass will bury one. And that will put Manitoba in the lead. 1-0 here in the first period. We have a power play for BC. Again, they aren't able to capitalize. And again, Manitoba's going to score. Morgan Geeky going to bury one. All right, so British Columbia is definitely the better overall team. Like, I'm pretty sure that Manitoba's like 86 overall or something like that. And BC is 90. So this is interesting. Lucic going to bury a goal there. Of all people of the team, he's going to get the goal and make it 2-1 halfway through this game here. Shots are currently in favor of Manitoba. BC appears to be storming back. And they did just that. But Mark Stone is going to bury one. And that will make it 3-2-1. Alright, let's continue the simulation here. Still 3-1 early on into the third. Shots are pretty even for the most part. BC going to get a goal. Ben makes it 3-2. Yo, honestly, let's just 
whatever. Ontario and Quebec, they can just be left out. This is wild. Oh, another power play? That could have been huge. That could have been massive. All right, once again, one minute, we're jumping in. For anyone that is curious, here's the team stats. There is literally no advantage to Manitoba whatsoever. But regardless, let's jump in. All right, who's going to be advancing to the final tournament with Alberta? Will it be Manitoba or will it be BC? Currently, Manitoba is winning 3-2 to two with a minute to go here in this contest. And I am actually shocked. I thought that Manitoba would have got rinsed, but they are doing something right, clearly. They know what they're doing. And they are... Oh my goodness, controller, stop! Stop with the audio things. I gotta figure out how to turn that off. But anyway, yeah. 35 seconds to go. Net is empty now for BC. Well, I guess I was going to say that. And then I guess they put him back and pulled him again. Riley cuts in the middle and a huge save by Dreger. 25 seconds to go. Empty net. Still a 3-2 lead for Manitoba. Barzell gets a huge draw in. Barry over to Riley. Down to Connolly. Takes a shot. I don't know what Dreger was doing there. He was just kind of floating and fell back into his own net. But it did not go in. 21 seconds now. Every second matters. And that clock is unforgiving. It is going to keep ticking every single second. Barry gets it over Dreger with another save. And before you leave some sarcastic remark, yeah, I know. I know that's how time works. Yeah, every second. It, I'm just making it dramatic, okay? Big draw win for Manitoba. Barry manages to keep it in. 10 seconds to go. Goes for a pass in the middle. Can't be received. And I think that's going to do it. I think BC's out. Ladies and gentlemen, what an upset. Oh, did I say it too soon? No, I didn't. Big save by Dreger. And Manitoba are moving on with Alberta. I am actually shocked. That fan in the stands was also shocked, by the way. I don't know if you saw that. But there's just someone in the background. like It's kind of like, where's Waldo? Wow. All right. BC is eliminated and rest of Canada is eliminated. Those are the two teams that I thought were going to be moving on. But what do I know? All right, Manitoba, Alberta. We are not going to bother simulating that. I will just briefly go look at some of the stats here in case anyone's curious. If they have like a favorite player and want to see how they performed in this part of the tournament then I'll just kind of scroll through it quick here to get everybody in there I um, wonder if there's anyone with zero uh, there's definitely someone with zero points a lot of people with two some people with one who, who got zero not a lot of people Ethan Bear uh, Graves Murray Susie all right yeah there wasn't a whole lot of players with none but there was some and then goalies I guess yeah there's only four so no one ever really got pulled but they all did well for the most part except for Kemper 899 321 but 933 922 931 the other goalies played phenomenal so yeah there you have it absolutely shocking but Alberta and Manitoba are moving on I already know that my voice is just going to be gone after this one which is upsetting all right if Manitoba manages to pull this one off I am going to be blown away so yeah the otters versus the moose over there and then we will have the Nordiques versus Alberta Aces. I know, it's not very creative. But anyway, yeah, so let's do it. Let us do it. I'm going to do the same thing I did and only simulate in the elimination game. So sim to next game. And Ontario's up one nothing. That is really not surprising at all. Sim to next game. Alberta takes game number one. All right, sim to next game. 2 nothing for Ontario. Sim to next game. 2 nothing for Alberta. All right. Well then, sim to next game, and we do have a victory for Manitoba. Good for them. Boom, 2-1. Quebec coming back now. And 3-1 for Ontario, so we will jump into the next game. 3-1 for Alberta. Man, that team. What is going on? All right, well, this is the elimination game, potentially. It is 3-1 for Ontario. Let's do the simulation speed at eight times and see what happens here. Come on, Manitoba. You guys... Don't want to go out like this after making it in. Honestly, you already you already won. Just making it this far is better than I thought you were going to do based on your overall. So, yeah, I'm very proud of you, Manitoba. Good job. First period will be scoreless. Let's hop into period number two now. Get the simulation going here. Nothing much happening, but we do have a goal now for Ontario. So I take that back. Halfway through the game, and now we have a one nothing lead for Ontario. Mitch Marner going to bury one. And that will give his team the lead and could be the one that puts Manitoba out of this tournament. All right. It is 1-0 heading into the third period. Manitoba, we need something from you. What's going to happen here? Shots are pretty even. Oh, boy. I think Manitoba. Oh, my word. Never mind. Every time I go to say something, 
They just shut me right up. Martinuk with a huge goal. Power play for Manitoba. They cannot capitalize. Oh, boy. Oh, no. All right. And let us jump in. Screw it. Here we go. Once again, here's the two team stats, if anyone's curious. 100 offense for Ontario. So, all right. Will Ontario put Manitoba out or will Manitoba manage to push another game? Let's find out here. Petrangelo walking in. Cuts back. Goes for a pass in the middle. But it will not connect. Come on, Manitoba. I'm kind of... I'm Honestly... You guys probably know at this point I'm from Ontario. Kind of rooting for Manitoba. Love me a good underdog story. Now the real question is, will this one end up going to overtime or will we see a winner before that? I sort of have a feeling we're going to get a goal before overtime, but I really have no idea, obviously. Petrangelo walking in, goes. What a deke. Petrangelo is a um, dirty dangler, apparently. Gets the puck taken off of him. Cody Eakin. Oh, go. Severson. Carrying it up the ice. Here comes Manitoba. Over the line goes for a pass. That'll be picked off by Tom Wilson. Horvat now carrying it up the wing. Getting <laughs> bullied by Ryan Reeves there. Holy crap. Just kept pushing him off the puck. Manitoba in over the line. And we have a delayed penalty for Ontario. It is going to be a power play for Manitoba. Six seconds to go in this one. It is a 1-1 hockey game. That's a huge win for Ontario. All right, we are headed to overtime. With a 1-1 hockey game here and with Manitoba on the brink of deletion. I don't really get what's with the orange jumpers in the crowd and the pink jumpers, but whatever. I guess cool. Here comes Ontario. They are currently shorthanded, but they are not playing like it. But Manitoba will get sort of a lucky bounce, what seemed like there. And they are carrying it out. Gets hit off the puck. Giordano's going to bury it down. Yo, I literally thought I was playing goalie be a pro for a second and I like was... Ready to hit the middle button to go back and try and play the puck. Wow. That just shows how instinctive it is at this point. Stone in the middle takes a shot. Mackenzie Blackwood going to save that one. I think for the purpose of preserving my voice, I'm only like, I'm not going to commentate this part. Just when something wild happens, I'll jump in. Ontario with a huge pass, but that will not go in. Marner not able to bury it as Dreger's going to make a tremendous save. McDavid has the puck. This is a scary sight. Goes for a little deke. Oh, nice try. He almost had it. Giordano gets another shot. That will be saved as well. I, It's going to be very shocking to me if Manitoba somehow pulls this off because they are getting destroyed. Jake Muzzin takes a penalty and Manitoba will be headed back to the power play. An interference call. There we go. That's it. That's going to do it. Connor McDavid gets his own rebound and they will be... Why is the sound coming out of my controller? How do I turn that off? Can someone tell me? Anyway, yeah, that's a huge goal. Bada bing, bada boom. Manitoba is eliminated from the tournament. But honestly, you guys put up a great fight. Good for you. And now we have Quebec and Alberta still remaining here. So let's go ahead and do the eight times simulation speed. Quebec going to get on the board early here from Shabbat. We have ourselves a game where Quebec is up 1-0 and the shots are pretty even. So, let's see what happens here. Will Quebec be able to... Oh, they will not. They will not be able to get the insurance marker because Taylor Hall is going to tie it up at 1-1. Okay, shots are still even. So, this is a very, very close series. I mean, I, I want to see what the scores of the other games were, kind of. Because we don't really get to see that for the most part. It's kind of... We just go past it, so... Yeah, but anyway, it's not super important. I'm just kind of curious because it does seem to be a very close series. Closer than the series score suggests. So, yeah. Boom. Keep it going here. We are now into period number three. It is 1-1. And Quebec is on the brink of elimination. If they lose this, they're gone. And it could be Alberta versus Ontario. But Quebec could still fight back and make their way into the finals. Oh boy. And we're going to have to jump in again, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Oh man, come on. Here's the stats. Anyone's curious. All right, Alberta, let's see what you got. Will you put out Quebec or will the Nordiques manage to push another game here? Yanni Gord going to steal that one. And he almost coughed it up right in front of the net. There it is. What a goal. Absolute snipe from Bergeron. And we are now going to have a... Game six? I think it's game six. Yeah. What are those pads, by the way? Ew. All right. Game number six. Once again, Quebec is on the brink of elimination. Alberta's going to get a shorthanded there. Colton Sevier, but Girard will get one right after and tie this game right back up. 
So we have a 1-1 game now. Alberta only has two shots currently. All right, they're starting to get some more. That's nice to see. Five minutes to go here in the first period, and Duclair is going to bury one and put Quebec in the lead. Oh, boy. Oh, never mind. Taylor Hall going to bury one. I was going to say, Quebec really fighting back here, and they might just be able to do it, but Alberta coming out storming here in the second period. Gallagher's going to put one in. Marcheseau is going to put one in. It is now 3-3. Holy crap. This has been a goal fest so far. It's kind of calmed down a little bit here, but I guess... At any moment, they could start lighting it up again. Or maybe the goalies are going to start standing on their head. Maybe they smartened up a little bit. Yost is going to bury one, and so is Ennis. Holy crap. Two last-second goals there on Flurry, And that will make it a 5-3 lead for Alberta heading into period number three. Wagner is going to bury one, making it 6-3. This might be it. Quebec might be Dunyans right now. 6-3 for Alberta after an absolute... Offense explosion. Mantha's going to score now. And that will make it 6-4. to four. But yeah, I think it's too little too late. Alberta will be moving on to the finals against Ontario. Alright, so I suppose we will simulate every game of the finals here. That's fair. Let's see what happens. Ontario, Alberta. Ontario going to get on the board early here. Steven Stamkos going to oh my word is this how the whole series is gonna holy crap <laughs> all right Ontario coming out strong here three nothing after like just insanely quick goals that was absurd Pareko's gonna score and that will make it three to one but there's they got a lot of recovering to do after that that was a rough go for Alberta not the start they were looking for I would imagine okay well they kind of Slow down Ontario a little bit here, it seems like. So that's good. A 5-on-3 for Alberta, and they can't capitalize. you got to capitalize on those guys. Braden Point's going to put one in and make it 3-2. Nash is going to score make it 3-3. Oh, my word. This series, or sorry, this whole thing has just been a roller coaster of emotions. I always sort of expect that one team is done, and they just manage to fight their way back. McDubstep is going to bury one. Sagan's going to bury one, make it 5-3 now. Two quick goals. To start off the third period for Ontario. Shots are very even right now. And Alberta just can't seem to score after their explosion. Stamkos going to score. I think that's going to put Alberta down and out for this game. Sevier will put one in. Making it 6-4. to four, And an empty net for Tavares that will seal the deal. Okay, will Alberta be able to tie this series up? Or is Ontario going to take a 2-0 series lead here? Which would be huge for them, for sure. So, let's find out. Shall we? Alberta, not really keeping up in the shots department right now, but they're keeping up in the goals department. It is 1-1. Nash has been an all-star for this team, I tell you, man. Holy smokes. Will Nye, the hockey guy, going to put one in and make it 2-1 now? So Alberta in the lead, heading into period number two. Kirby Doc going to score, make it 3-1. Alberta with the insurance marker now, as we approach the halfway point of this game. Jake DeBrus going to put one in and make it 4-1. They are pulling away here, folks. Alberta is... Wow. I really underestimated Alberta. Kale McCarr is going to put one in and make it 5-1. to one. McDavid finally gets on, on the board for Ontario there. I'm, I'm stuttering a lot, by the way. I don't know what's going on, but it's early, and my brain is just not working properly. So, just ignore me. Horvat's going to put one in, make it 5-3. to three. We are now halfway through the third period. Still a two-goal lead for Alberta here. Will Ontario be able to... Come back and tie it up, or will the series be 1-1? And it looks like the series is going to be 1-1. One one. Oh, yes it is. That that got real close. I'm kind of curious as to how long this video is going to be. I feel like it's going to be really... How long have I been recording for? I've been recording for only 42 minutes. That's not that bad. I thought it'd be longer than that. Interesting. All right. Anyway, <laughs> back to the video. We have a 1-1 one -one series here. Stamkos, again, going to bury one. Ontario seems to be really good at getting that early lead. But, you know, it doesn't always mean that you're going to win. Especially, you know, last game was a prime example of that. Alberta came back and just dummied them after that. Spurgeon's going to put a goal in here and make it 1-1. One to one. Heading into period number 2. Yep, it looks like it. Alright, 1-1 one, one hockey game. Period number 2. And Gallagher will score early on to make it 2-1 to one for Alberta. Wow, man. I am literally shocked. I thought Ontario was going to dummy, but... As they're definitely putting up a fight here, Alberta, to say the absolute least. In fact, they are 
really, you know, they, they could legitimately win this at this point. But Marner will tie it up, make it 2-2. We have a tie game heading in to the third period. This is a crucial game as well. Sevier again. Holy crap. That guy is lighting it up in this as well. Him and Nash are two players that I didn't really expect to do as well as they're doing, honestly. They are insane. Shots are in favor of Alberta for sure right now. And there's only three minutes. Will they take a 2-1 to one series lead? And they will. Alberta, right now, 2-1 to one in the finals here. We can also see that McDavid has 16 points in eight games. So, getting two points a game on average. That's pretty solid. Simulate this game. Will Alberta be able to take a 3-1 series lead? That would be absurd. But, at this point, I am not going to doubt it. It could genuinely happen. And... They have honestly earned it. Sevier again will bury one, but Tom Wilson will get it right back, making it one to one. Shots are in favor of Ontario right now for sure, eight to three. I'm pretty sure they didn't get a single shot on that whole power play. Kirby Doc gonna bury one, making it two to one for Alberta. Why I couldn't give them a more creative name. Why would I have to call them the Aces? Like, come on, man. All right, here we go. Three one. Taylor Hall gonna put one in within the first minute. There, Giroux gonna jump back though real quick and make it three to two. So, yeah, it seems to be whenever one team scores, the other one is bouncing right back. Halfway through the game now, shots are definitely still in favor of Ontario. A power play, I feel like we're not seeing a whole lot of capitalization on power plays here. In fact, we might have the same amount of shorthanded goals as we do power play goals. I don't know why that's happening, but anyway. Taylor Hall again going to get one early on in the period here. This time the third, and this will give them another two-goal lead. 4-2 now for Alberta. Giroux gets Ontario back into it now. Cutting that lead down to one. Stamkos going to tie the game up. And O'Reilly going to put Ontario in the lead. Wow. What an absolute show for Ontario there. And is that going to do it? That, wow. That was crazy. All right, folks. It is now a best of three. Ontario, Alberta. Who will take this thing home? It's been... Severely even so far. We've only seen one game where the other team kind of like just took it away. I'm pretty sure anyway. Did Ontario dominate in the first game? I know that Alberta ended up having a pretty dominating game there, but I can't remember if the first game was as well. Anyway, doesn't really matter because we're here now and it is a best of three. Alberta's actually doing very well for shots right now. Bunch of power plays going back and forth where no goals are being scored. That's just par for the course at this point halfway through the game shots are basically doubled in favor of Alberta right now so they are definitely here to win but the goalies are standing on their heads playing phenomenally all right 0-0 heading into period number three another power play for Ontario not able to capitalize they're starting to catch up for shots though and McDavid will put Ontario on the board first here making it one to nothing another power play for Alberta no capitalization that was all lowercase Five minutes to go in this one. Ontario still up one nothing, And might that seal the deal? Oh no! Sevier! Oh. My. Word. I can't believe this. Alright, we're not jumping in because I'm only doing it for elimination games. And yeah, my voice will just literally leave my body. So, uh, I'm doing everything I can here. I can't believe that though. Sevier with a clutch goal. I thought it was done. I thought Ontario was going to be up and have only... One game separating them from victory. But no. Sevier is going to score a very late goal there. And the crowd must have erupted. But McDavid is going to score in OT2. I believe that was OT2, right? I guess not. All periods? Was there not? Hold on. Hold the phone. Was that the second period when I when Sevier scored? I guess it had. Wow. What? No, it wasn't. Yeah, okay. So I guess it just... I swear there was a second overtime, though. Anyway, whatever. We have the Ontario Otters with one game separating them from holding the trophy. So let's simulate here. Will Alberta be able to make it a best of one, a.k.a. a game seven? Or will Ontario give them the business... And put them out of their misery in six games. Let's find out here. Halfway through the first period, shots are heavily in favor of Ontario to start this game out. And yeah, we have a 2-0 game now for Ontario. McDavid going to put one in, making it 2 to nothing for Ontario. But definitely don't count Alberta out just yet. Because they can and they will. 
But will they be able to is another whole question. Well, I guess I just contradict myself. They can and they will. But will they? You know, let's find out. <laughs> I'm all over the place right now. If you're still watching the video at this point, thank you. I appreciate you because I'm a mess. All right, two minutes to go and boom. Let's see if Alberta will be able to fight back at all here or if they are done. But it's starting to look like they are done. That might just be the nail in the coffin. Ryan O'Reilly might have just done them dirty. Okay, it's done. It is done for sure. I think that they are officially eliminated. Okay, all right. Too little, too late. Yeah, they're out. All right, Ontario is going to win. Let's jump in just to watch the uh, a little bit of the celebration here. And yeah, that's it. I kind of feel bad for Albert. I'm not going to lie. I was, I was really rooting for them. 10 seconds to go. Oh, Alberta's not giving up though. They're still trying to get one there at least, but it's not going to happen. And that will do it. Ontario are going to be the winners of your Canada Cup, which I mean, I'm not really surprised about. I sort of saw that coming, but still, I, I'm very impressed with some of the team's performances here. I thought it was going to be much more of a blowout than it ended up actually being. So good for them. And I hope you guys... Had a fun time watching this. Honestly, I could do it again if you guys have a different idea or like a different format or something like that. Go ahead and let me know. I'm I'm super down. I really like this whole concept of tournaments and whatever. It is kind of unfortunate that there's six teams because it's like not really a, a number that you can toss into a playoff mode or anything like that. But yeah, there you have it. Ontario, the champions. Probably as expected. But we can have a look at the stats here anyway. So let's just look at one team at a time. Alberta Aces. We got 11 points in 12 games from Pointer. All right. McCarr with 9. Doc with 8. Good for him. Sevier with 7 but was a dash 7. What's up with that? Gallagher with 7. All right. Let's scroll down here. Nash actually only had 5. I swear he had more than that. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, good performance nonetheless. Hello? Okay. Uh... Anyway, let's have a look. Actually, no, I'll just do goalies on the uh, all-team screen. We'll just kind of go through the individual player stats here. So, yeah, Manitoba only played five games, unfortunately. But they did get four points from Nolan Patrick. Cody Glass put up three. Cody Eakin. Okay, I'll just scroll through. Are we going to have, like, an insanely duplicated player here? No, we are not. But we are going to have a dash three Morgan Geeky with no points, even though he was on the first line. Come on, Morgan. Ontario Otters. This is just, yeah, absurd. 20 points, 19 points, 16 points. And then Shifley with nine. And again, I'll just kind of scroll down here. Show you the team. I think we're going to have a... Oh, the scroll bar show that there's a lot more players, but there isn't. I can't go any further than that. Um, let's look at the... Oh, no! I don't want to do that. All right, we're going back. <laughs> uh, so you might have got a little bit of a spoiler there. But anyway, um, is this game like... Is this game okay? Or... Wait, never mind. Yeah, no, Quebec did get eliminated in the first round, so never mind. I'm crazy. Shabbat put up five points in six games. Uh, same with Bergeron and Huberdeau. March so with four. I'll just kind of scroll down here and show you guys all the players. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Vlasic is there twice. Love it. Three times. Four times. Nice. That's huge. Big if true. And then in... No! Wait a minute! <laughs> Hold on. All right. Entire league goalies. I'm just so used to doing that, but yeah. Here we go. So, I guess... Uh, did any other goalies get pulled or okay so Dell went in for a bit there and I think I'm missing one Manitoba no or wait I <laughs> I'm going crazy guys I'm literally going crazy okay it's Ontario Bennington and Blackwood all right there we go anyway yeah so 11 games from Mackenzie Blackwood 8-3 and 0 with a shutout 926 but here's all the goalie stats Carter Hart did quite well as well. He had a 312, but I mean, he was going up against Ontario, so kind of understandable. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments down below if you have any other ideas or suggestions for stuff like this. I love doing stuff like this. It's always fun. Um, the commentary on them usually ends up deteriorating and turning into whatever this ended up being, but you know, it's still entertaining for you, hopefully. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I'll see you soon.